Quantitative easing is a way of pumping money into an economy to encourage growth. It's used when ultra-low interest rates fail to kickstart consumer spending. It also helps when an economy is at risk of falling into a deflationary spiral when sliding prices trigger a recession and layoffs. So how does quantitative easing actually work? Central banks buy assets with money they create electronically, in other words, cash that didn't exist before. These assets are usually government and corporate bonds and come from private sector businesses like banks, insurance companies and pension funds. Their purchase injects new cash into the system. Those selling the assets use the money they receive to invest in new assets or to make loans. Consumers spend the cash they've borrowed and businesses invest. This stimulates the economy, creating jobs and boosting growth. Eventually, exiting quantitative easing will cause an economy to slow. As the stock of assets held by a central bank decreases, the amount of funds in the economy that can be used for investment is also reduced. Timing and pace of the exit is therefore crucial to avoid a new economic downturn.